What's going on, Funko Pop fans and collectors of all ages? It's your girl, Miss Toy Diva, and I'd like to welcome you all to my channel, Fats Toys. Yes, guys, the ladies 2017 San Diego Comic Con has came, has gone, but did I truly conquer? I tried about Wednesday night, well, morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, to try to get Marvin the Martian, but I couldn't get it because the website crashed. So I said, you know what? I'm going to concentrate on Barnes & Noble and GameStop. Maybe I have a better chance. So I grabbed some reinforcements. I just couldn't get my nephew, so I asked my cousin, could he come along? And good thing that I did, because I was trying to find a parking spot, and I kid you not, Barnes & Noble opened at 9 o'clock, 9.05. My cousin called me and said, guess what? Everything was sold out. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? I said, please tell me you got me something. So he was lucky enough to grab something for me. And it wasn't just the customers. It was employees as well. Employees blocked my nephew from getting these pops, but my cousin actually grabbed them for me. This is the ones that I really, truly wanted these two. The first one is the Masters of the Universe Classics. Scare Glow. Yes, I am a big fan of Masters of the Universe, as you guys know, for action figures. And I just had to pick this. I'm so happy that my cousin had came because there was no way in the world that I was able to get it. Five minutes after the store opened, it was all gone. This is number 517. And of course, it glows in the dark. I am a big fan of, of Masters of the Universe uh, classic figures. And look at that. Look at that on the side. This is so dope. And to actually get a hold of this bad boy, look at Castle Grayskull. This is nice. And I'm telling you, Scared Glow, the, the action figure, is sick and very expensive. So hopefully one day I'll be able to own it in my collection. But this bad boy is dope. Look, let me tell you. The, it wasn't the customers. They had two customers ahead of my nephew and my cousin. It was the employees. They blocked them from trying to get to the table. So my cousin had to go at the back of the table and grab this pop. I'm so happy that he did. I couldn't even get out the car because, I mean, I'm still trying to find a parking, a parking spot. But that fast, five minutes, they all was gone. They only had one tick, and that was at the, behind the register. So I'm thinking, you know, the employees, the management, they grabbed them all. And customer Scott, and when I say jack nothing, jack nothing. The next one I was really surprised he picked up, and it is the Disney Winnie the Pooh. This is number 288, and it is flocked. So, wow. My cousin, I mean, shout out to my cousin. Thank you so much for getting me this awesome ticker. This is really, really nice. Nice scope. Nice box. And these came in nice condition. But again, I couldn't believe that the employees had the audacity to grab these pops, stand in line, get wrong out, and then clocked in to go to work. And the manager did absolutely nothing. She just stood there and watched. So that was like fail right there, Barnes & Noble, that your employees and your management, you know, cause trouble. So 10 after 9, I <laughs> picked them up. And we headed to GameStop. I had a game plan because there's three GameStops in my area, two immediate GameStops. So I said, you know what? One of them I know for sure. The manager collects pops. So I said, I'm not even going to worry about going to him. So I went to my main GameStop. And when we got there, there was a car and there was like two people in front of us. So I was like the third person. And then it was my cousin and then my nephew. So we was pretty good because GameStop didn't open till nine, uh, 10 o'clock. And we was there at 9.30. So let me tell you a quick story. <laughs> Once he that opened up the door to the employee, he had no clue what was going on. No pops were out. No pops were set up at the back counter. No pop was on the display. He was thought it was a video game that was coming out. And I was like, your manager did not tell you that it was a Funko Pop event, a big Funko Pop event? He said no. So he called the manager, went to the back when we all following him, and he fumbled back there for a minute. Then he comes out with this big, gigantic box full of pops that was thrown in. I'm like, we're not going to get anything. But, I mean, we had to be patient with him because he had no clue of what was going on. And he was trying. So the first two gentlemen, uh, they grabbed their pops. And then I'm glad I was third in line because I was able to get some pops out of there. Normally, GameStop is pretty much guaranteed because, you know, they do have stock. So the first one I picked up is from Disney. This is number 300. This is Negatron. Yes. I was like, whoa, this is what I really, truly want. And he actually glows in the dark as well. So this is pretty cool. This is like... Uh, 
really really nice I'm very excited because actually this is the first time that I'm looking at my pops since I purchased them now I really do want that dark wing dog haven't seen it yet and I did pre-order the PX preview exclusive the uh, Nega Duck, so hopefully that'll come in. But this bad boy glows in the dark, and um, everybody wanted this one, including my nephew. So I was so happy uh, to pick him up. He's a really cool pop, and it's just uh, a great addition to my collection. Like I said, I don't know <laughs> what was going on with GameStop, but I'm glad I was able to get something. The next one is uh, one of my fan favorites, and I picked it up because of one figure, but I'm so happy. It is the two-pack of the Star Wars Princess Leia and R2-D2, Hollow Princess Leia. This is very, very popular. Uh, GameStop in my area, let me see, they get, we see two cases, so three in a case, so they actually was able to get six to the store. So everybody and their mother wanted this one, so this is pretty good. Now, of course... Princess Leia is in hollow, and, and this is what I really, truly want. And it's a whole, R2-D2 is supposed to be a newer uh, mode. And uh, this is a very popular uh, uh, set right here. Everybody wanted it because of hollow uh, Princess Leia and Carrie Fisher. Here's the back of it, which I do actually have that Luke Skywalker hooded. That is pretty dope. And this guy right here is a, a Walgreens exclusive. So very happy to pick this this up. And I'm going to let you guys and ladies know that for some reason, Funko glued the pops to the bases. They do not come off. So please don't try to pull them off because you might crack them or break them or something like that. I don't know why. Normally you can take the pops off. But this time they, they glued them on. So I don't know if that's going to be a new thing or what. But uh, <laughs> I'm, I love to display them with the, the stands anyway. So Next I have is from uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. It's number 225. This is the one I wanted. It's Tony Stark's holding Iron Man helmet. Yes. I really truly wonder once I found that that GameStop had this pop this is where I really truly wanted to go so I said you know what you can only go as far as your money going to take you so I, you know what it took me straight to GameStop and this is what I wanted right here pretty dope I do have the Tony Starks right here which has the kitty cat uh, t-shirt on it but I mean he's got Spider-Man you got the homecoming suit which I was able to get Peter Parker and, of course, Vulture, there's a GameStop Blown a Dark uh, exclusive Vulture. There's so many exclusives, you know, the Unmasked uh, Spider-Man and the Unmasked Homecoming suit. So, there's tons of exclusives to pick one, but I wanted this one. And, of course, you know, the, yeah, the helmet is a little big. Too bad he couldn't actually hold it in his arm. That would have been nice. But I, this is the one I truly wanted. And, like I said, once I found that GameStop was going to get it, I just snatched it up. Next, we have another pop, yes, from Suicide Squad. How many can you make? This is number 188, and of course, this is the Batman Joker, which is really dope, by the way. Here's the packaging going to the side right here. Pretty sweet. Love them. Look at these tons and tons. Uh, this line is a really big line, and this doesn't even include some of the variants that they have out. So many variants, and it keeps giving, and what? Keep going. But this Joker is tight. Like the, with the boom, the batarang and the Joker itself on his his his, his logo of the bat uh, logo and the ha ha ha. Everything about this this is a very popular uh, pop. Everybody everybody was grabbing it, believe it or not, including myself. Next, <laughs> this is another fan favorite, and it is from the Batman animated series 189. Here he comes himself. Man Bat, another one that I was wanting to get. The series itself, I want to get this second wave series that's actually just coming out. And man, oh man, I can't wait to pick them up. You got so many awesome figures, especially that a robot Batman it has a chase to that. We have an, my favorite has to be, of course, Phantasm and Bane. So I can't wait to pick up that set. So I had to get this Man Bat. Everybody and their mother was asking for Man Bat as well. And uh, we was able to get them because they had four of them. And, and after that, that was pretty much it. It is dope. I like the wings on the side. Pretty dope in it. <laughs> this is a really, really nice pop. Look at the ears. This is sick. So very popular uh, with a lot of, like I said, GameStop had it going on. Really happy that, you know, GameStop was able to get these pops. And 
So once I finished with GameStop, it was about 10.30. So I said, something told me to call down to Toys R Us. So I called Toys R Us because I wanted to see if they got any shipment in. So I spoke to an employee and I said, you know what? Did you get any new pops in from the uh, the summer convention? She said, yeah, let me go check. I said, well, this is the ones that I'm looking for. I'm looking for Rick and Morty Tinkles. I'm looking for Wonder Woman Aries. And I'm also looking for the Justice League Bruce Wayne. So she went back and took a minute or so. But when she came back, she said, well, I can't find tinkles i didn't see aries but i have bruce wayne for you do you want me to put him on hold for you so i'm like yes absolutely so she said well give me your name and then you know take your time and you can go you know and come and get him but i flew down there because i had to get this pop i wasn't leaving him so this is number 200 from the justice league dc and it is bruce wayne Wow, did not expect to get this bad boy at all. But like I said, she was really, really nice employee. Because normally they tell you, oh, you know what, you can't hold them first come, first serve. But she was really nice. So here you have the uh, the Aquaman with the motherboard. That's a Walmart exclusive. Of course, Bruce Wayne is a Toys R Us shared exclusive. And the Flash Unmasked, I'm not sure what exclusive that's going to be. Hopefully it will be uh, somewhere where we can actually get to him really easily instead of fighting for him. But I'm really happy that she was able to get this one. And of course, you have the batter ring. He's holding it in his hand. And I like how they I put grays on the side of his uh, his hair with the sideburns and all. Really no dope pop. So thanks out, props out to the employee that uh, hooked the diva up and was able to hold them. Really, really nice. So, guys and ladies, there you have it. There you go. My 2017, of course, San Diego Comic-Con Pops. Wow. I mean, what a rush. I'm going to tell you, this year was really, really hard. Kind of frustrating. But uh, I didn't think I was going to be able to get any of these pops, especially Barnes & Noble. GameStop a little bit because GameStop is really, really good when it comes to uh, getting uh, exclusives because they have tons of them. And there's like about three GameStops in my area. And thanks again for, of course, the employee from Toys R Us. Okay, more videos to come. I am definitely going to have a second part to this video because I have a mail call. Yes, a mail haul. I'm still waiting for some packages to get in. And once they come in, and then I'll make a second video for that because I have about good six more pops to come in. So once that comes in, I'm going to make a video and do that haul. But again, you know, if anyone, you know, was able, hopefully you was able to get everything that you was looking for and wanting. You guys deserve it and you definitely earned it because this haul. <laughs> was like unexpected didn't think I was going to get any of these pops but you know but guys ladies, you think that this is hard San Diego Comic Con wait till New York Comic Con come those pops are extremely rare you might get one or two a store and that is it so you guys ain't seen nothing yet but again thank you all for watching thank you all for stopping by if you like this video please hit the like button of course and feel free to subscribe to get my latest and newest videos Please share this video with your family and friends and still go out there and try to get some of these pops, especially at GameStop. They still have some, and I'll keep checking the websites because you never know if they're going to get a restock on these pops. This is your girl, Miss Toy Diva. Can you dig it? Can you dig these awesome 2017 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive pops? You know I can. They're truly what? Dopeified. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting. Enjoy your day. And I'll see you all on my next video. Keep on popping.